Today on the American Truck Podcast, Hearthstone's got a high-stakes brawl, NVIDIA dropped more graphics cards, there's no new Halloween update for Team Fortress 2, and Rockstar teased Red Dead Redemption 2. Hello and welcome to the American Truck Podcast with Andrew C. And Jefferson B. Ame- amiibo icon? Unique. I'm dying and I don't care. <laughs> I can't remember what the amiibo icon looks like. Does it look like an amiibo? I, uh, I'm not the person to ask this. What kind Mike of is amiibo definitely the person to ask this. Mario amiibo, uh, Yoshi uh-huh. amiibo, Dr. Wario. Did you say Dr. Wario? I did. Man, we gotta really up your Nintendo game. I mean, we could if, you know, they weren't a bunch of jerk faces that don't let people play their games for monetization rights. Dude, that's okay. You just need to be able to play it to have fun. Mm, it's not the same. Or, thing. you can still talk about them. We're talking about them right now. Probably gonna exactly. get this video flagged. It's not Nintendo NX, man. Friendly. It's gonna change the world. By the way, Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon should have its uh, stuff out. Yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna keep talking. Keep I saw talking that they, uh, them peeps over there who do, do things data mine those uh, betas. Oh really? So they uh, they early early release them, and I just got 100 percent data, data oh. damage. Dated. I'm, I am deaded. That's what I am. That's very unfortunate. Uh, hey, so apparently there's a new uh, short release Hearthstone mode, uh, which unfortunately Freelance isn't here to talk about, but it's a limited time heroic brawl. Uh, it's it's mm. got a ten dollar entry or a hundred or a uh, thousand gold. Uh, but you get some pretty decent swag if you actually kind of survive. Uh, but there is a three loses and you're out type rule. So it's like a three strikes game over type thing. And as far as I understand, if you lose three times, you have to start over again with your $10. So. Do we know if you at least get at, at you know $10 worth of, worth of stuff just off out of the gate or I don't think so I think you need to get pretty at least to like five wins to start getting the loot and then the, the amount of loot that you get progresses the high the more and more wins you gain and so uh, the, basically you get there's card packs you can get dust gold and the top three number of winners uh, in a given set uh, is golden legendary cards. Hmm. So, and you got, I think it's one, two, and three, or you know, it's you get one at least at the the one level, and then you get more as you go. So, but I believe it's oh, like yeah. it's kind of like a one one out of one through eleven, if I remember hmm. correctly. And you have so there's eleven matches as part of your ten dollars, and then make it all the way up to the top you get the most rewards if you don't but you, you you suck i do i do i kind of i kind of like the idea just simply because it requires the player to have a little bit of skin in the game right so it's like when you when you go in you're not just going to be like oh yeah you know this is free in game tournament and i'm just going to play it as if it was another ranked match it's like no like this has actually got some value to it right right yeah you've got 10 bucks that you've uh you've had to shove into the game and you don't want to just kind of throw it away and lose three games immediately. So. Right. I would be interested if other games started to pick up the same model. Mm. You know, rather than just like your stip- rather than your typical just entry fee to a tournament, but it's like, hey, if you want to if you want to participate in ranked, well, you got to got to make sure you keep up with you know, either you have to chip in, or you could be like Magic at that point, and Magic the Gathering does a wonderful thing. Well, depends on who you are. I'm totally going to get flack for this, but they have standard. So in standard play, you can only have a certain, you can only have certain types of cards that are in play. Right. And so, if that was the same, if you had a similar thing with, I don't know if you could do it with champions, but you could probably do something with skins, or it's like, hey, if you want to use this thing, it has to have this year's season skin on it. I don't know. I'm just kind of musing at this point because I think it's I think it's a cool idea to alleviate some of the pressure. I think that the uh, casual and hobbyist esports scene has seen 
because we haven't yet to have a happy medium of how to encourage more competitive play amongst the player base. And now we have an opportunity where, I mean, it seems like this is, knowing the Hearthstone community like I do, this seems like it's going to be a very viable option and is going to draw out many players to really participate. That's kind of exciting to see. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, be interested to see how, how it goes over this little um, tournament uh, spree. It, it's, if mm -hmm. I remember correctly, it's about a week and a half long. Uh, All right. And sometime next week. So uh, if you are interested in doing it, make sure you check it out. Um, I think it's Tuesday, if I remember correctly. Tuesday seems to stick out for when the, uh, when it ends. Okay, so by the time people are watching this, there's only a couple of days there's left. There's only a couple of days left. Yep. Gotcha. So, but it's unlike some things where it's already over <laughs> by the time we, uh, the people would see it. So This is true. There's at least some, some time to talk. Uh, so, apparently uh, NVIDIA has decided that they weren't happy with the 1080, 1070, and 1060s. They needed some more graphics cards, and uh, they've released the information about the 1050 and 1050 Ti, which uh, will be coming a little later this month. Now, remind me, before, before we really get into the woods about this, about this product, was there a 950 or an 850, 750, etc.? Did we have other 50-class graphics cards? Yes. Yes, traditionally there has been a 50-class graphics card uh, okay. that was always kind of like the really... It was obviously the lowest end, but it always was kind of like the meh entry-level mm. card that was better than integrated graphics, but not super better right because i'm looking at these specs that you provided in the show notes and wow this is for for a for you know the price point that they are marketing this at this is a really excellent card to pay attention to yeah it is uh surprisingly i i, I was pretty surprised when i read the specs on it because it really for the price is a pretty great card for the average mm -hmm. Joe who doesn't necessarily need a big fancy, you know, 1070 or something in their computer. Right. You know, and we should probably we should probably say what the price is. Yeah, it's uh, 109 dollars and 139 dollars respectively for that card. So, mm. and when you say the the higher price point, you're talking about a a titanium version. Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. So, so we the... will be seeing two more effectively two more graphics cards. No, the 1050 the, and the 1050 Ti. That yeah. So you have the 1050 and you have the 1050 Ti, yes. which will be coming out. Now the, here's the interesting thing: the 1080 uh, 1050 Ti is actually coming out before the 10, 1050. Huh. I wonder what the supply chain issue was on that end. Yeah. Right. I mean, so the the, the Ti is actually going to be coming out uh, on this coming Tuesday, the 25th. And then the plain 1050 won't be out until the 8th of November. Now, I will say there's some very interesting highlights about this card that I think are definitely worth mentioning. For one, it's not VR certified. So we're not going to see, you know, $200, $300 VR ready boxes. That's, it, it is presently, at least from a software limitations perspective, probably not going to happen. Yeah, I would be surprised if it did. But Now, of course, that being said, this is only a 75 watt card, right? So have for a those low of you power who, overhead. for those of you who do not rock the upgraded power supply unit, or for those of you who I totally remember back when I was a kid and would get the like, you know, the fifty dollar, the sixty dollar Dell from Goodwill that has like the Core Two Duo inside of it. But now you can actually turn this into a fairly solid console competitor for a very small investment. Oh yeah, I mean this definitely. is. This is Christmas money right here. Like this is this is really simple. Yep, definitely is. Um, it's it seems based on kind of like what I've been reading. It looks like it's going to be on par with probably what the what is currently the 960. Uh, but it has that great Pascal architecture. So we're exactly. Gonna see so you're seeing absolutely. I'm I'm curious though. This is quite the lofty claim that we're going to see 1080p 60 in all modern titles. I agree. Thus far, I, I put lofty claim. <laughs> I hope it. I hope it works. I want this card to be successful because I think if this card can actually do the job and do it properly at such a low price point, the market will agree. And yeah, when the market agrees, it means we're going to see entry. 
absolutely we're going to see more people getting involved in higher end gaming it, it's just going to help the industry as a whole because i mean when when your system specs are no longer a problem i mean this the whole steam well, the whole steam uh, catalog really is your playground at that point right now on the other side you are probably going to see with these cards becoming cheaper and cheaper at being able to play if it is able to do the 1080p at 60 frames per second you're going to start seeing games drastically increase their specs because the the bar is set a lot lower hardware wise now certainly well as the as the floor comes up so does the ceiling also go up right so yeah, I can definitely see that. But I mean, really, what that's going to do is it's going to produce more gorgeous games and more games that are going to further separate us from those dreaded couch surfers, the console mm. people. Yes, of course. Hashtag PC Master Race. Dare we say peasants? Ooh, what? I'm what? Right. Shots fired! Wah, wah, wah. Uh, and those two cards uh, is going to be two gigs and four gigs, respectively, as well. So, Fantastic. Wow. Totally looking forward to it. Don't think I'm going to pick one up myself because I'm definitely, I'm definitely ready to look into uh, getting the parts together for the VR train. Yeah, you're but, more uh, 1060, 1070 type. Uh, great. I'm feeling, I'm feeling 1070 it, right now is what I'm thinking. All depends but, on what your wallet says the day that you go to buy it. Right, and we'll see. I mean, uh, yeah, Black Friday is always a great day to look at buying a new graphics card. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how things move. We will see. We will see indeed. Um, Coming soon, very soon, this Tuesday. In fact, Telltale yeah, Batman Tuesday series now. episode three is going to be coming out October twenty. Just in time for Halloween, right? Just in time, indeed, indeed. So uh, yeah, we're going to see more of the great caped crusader, the bats yep. of the uh, of the great Telltale variety, of course. Which is oh yeah, we must kill the Batman. That's one way to look at it. That is indeed one way to look. Okay, do we know if this is a good game or not? Because we keep reporting on it, and I don't actually, like, is this the savior of the Batman IP and franchise? Uh, I don't know. I believe you, you still might need to be a Telltale fan to be mm, this is true. into it. I don't I, I mean, don't know, if but. if the good doctor keeps giving all of these wonderful, uh, wonderful quotes, obviously he's excited about, um, about playing these general. games. Well, as he is our team racing driver, mm. you know, these are important things to keep in mind. This is very true, very true. Uh, I have some bad news, very bad oh, no. news. Uh, the, the folks over at Team Fortress cannot be bothered a second year in the row to put out a brand new Halloween update. Wah, wah. They said it's going to be uh, it's more of the same various ones from previous years with uh, some new items they're going to add in but um, no actual new maps this time I don't think, I don't remember no the new maps. Maps. map I know so it was no items, new game modes, items no nothing? stuff, hats, emotes but I don't think there was a map this time mm, that's unfortunate so, yep, yeah, second, second year in a row so they're working on quote other things Half-Life 3 confirmed. Hey, I mean, I'm, just, I'm I, saying it now. Bandwagon. Hey, man, I'm willing to propagate enough false news. <laughs> do what I gotta do. <laughs> hey, uh, something that could have been almost was false news, but turned out to be real news. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Sweet. Had uh, someone someone noticed that um, Rockstar bought up the domain for that. Wait, they somebody noticed that they had bought up the domain yep reddeadredemption2.com and then people were all like oh what is this and rockstar just put like a a um, like a placeholder page on it that was all red and everyone was like what and they uh, went ahead and actually teased it it's going to be a thing uh, fall 2017 is their target and um Per usual for Rockstar, no mention at all about PC release. This is also a year out. Year out, but it's if it follows any other Rockstar title, it will be PS4, Xbox One only for a year, and then they'll release it for the PC. There's got to be something contractual about that. There's, there's just no way. 
that I mean, they would... they've done it with all of their previous games, so... Right, but why is my question. Because, like, screw the PC gamer. That That is too simplistic of an answer, and you know it. That's what everyone has always said, at least. Right, but that's what the internet says. Let's be honest here, this is the internet we're talking about. The internet's never wrong. Have you read Wikipedia? It's usually pretty <laughs> right. Uh... All right, man, if you say so. It's all about knowing what's wrong and what isn't right. I think that was the same statement twice. I think I think it was, but hey, it's okay because you said it on the internet. There we go. That's right. Hey, so I didn't believe this at first when I saw it, but uh, but apparently it is indeed a thing. Uh, so Steam is partnering with Samsung to build Steam Link into their TVs. Are we going to be introducing some new... Explosive graphics, hey, 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 twink, twink, nudge, nudge. It's very possible. We might see televisions get banned from airplanes. I mean, if you got the chutzpah to take a TV on an airplane, I feel like they should just let you on at that point. That's <laughs> impressive. There's a certain. It takes a special kind of person to bring a television on an airplane. It'd be like that guy who brought his full IMAX setup to a coffee shop. I've, so he could play I have his seen that uh, guy. World of Warcraft. I've seen that guy on more than one occasion, actually, in my local coffee shop. Mm. Not to play World of Warcraft. I mean, I had a customer today who literally, like, was in the, like, stayed, like, inside the store for, like, about four hours, so. Yikes. Mm. I've heard of people who do that. They, like, don't have an office, so they just, like, turn public, public venues into their office. I mean, it's all fine and dandy until uh, until they have a ar loud argument over the phone. Well, here's the thing: is you just need to make sure that you order the customary one drink per hour, and then you make your keep. This is true, as long as you actually do that. Yep. If you and don't, don't really cause a ruckus. Yeah, this is true. But if you don't abide by those two rules, I I have Out. no sympathy. Leave my establishment now, sir. So, um, I think it's actually a pretty interesting idea here, having a Steam Link in, built into TVs, because, I mean, it gets rid of an extra peripheral. What I'm confused about, though, is, will it include some sort of controller? Like, I, yeah, cool, I have this cool Steam Link in, built into my TV, but, like, are there USB ports on the side of it? Like, I mean, most TVs have USB ports. They just right, don't really do much. They're only hooked up for, like, power and the occasional firmware upgrade. Right, so now we'd be just talking, here's your USB port that your keyboard and mouse plug into. But will it go through the Steam Link, or I will would it assume bypass... It, I mean, I would think if you're building Steam Link into a TV, you would have and to put some kind of ports on the TV to connect to it. Uh, Samsung in the past has been known to just duct tape features onto the side of a television, man. I mean, this is fair. Saying, historically, we don't have a good precedent. Granted, I've never seen Valve make a move like this before, so I'm curious as to what the Gaben is going to uh, require of our uh, explosive friends on the, on the other side of the pond and seeing what it is they'll come up with. True. I mean, and it, for all we know, it could be a controller, wireless controller only setup. It's very possible. It may not uh, have any keyboard mouse support whatsoever which would be a darn shame but that would be a serious shame but, but at least it it's would, an option it's an option it could just go that way and it eliminates a lot of headache indeed it's, it does you know indeed it does uh, but with that i do believe it's time to end uh, that's all we got for today i hope you enjoyed this episode of the american truck podcast if you like this make sure you hit that like button perhaps also leave a comment down below and we will see you guys in the next one